Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe, and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button, and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. Stuck I see. It seems like. Really good. came all the way around.
press and hold. Try to turn it back on. I don't really want to leave it open. Let's see what happens. Never had that happen. Ice maker back on. Water filter. Up here is the water filter. Twist it in, pulled it out. See how it goes. Let's see something here. Nine is coldest. was originally on one. I thought is maybe now we're in the defrost cycle. Which is probably a good thing. Look in here and see a lot of ice. Okay. So what's happening is it, it's frozen. And the fan motor is laying on the ice. So it's not good. So we definitely want to go with and defrost it for a little while. So whether turn it off or for a little while or bring it into the defrost cycle. So let me go ahead and turn it off. So what hap what's happening is the fan blade is hitting all that ice. So I'm going to let it defrost for a while and then we'll be able to run it again as it, once the ice melts and the fan won't be running on that ice. Okay, so what we have to do is check this into defrost. So I'm going to turn it back on and a little research online and 
tinkering around says that what we got to do is click this five times within six seconds. There was the click. And that should bring us into the defrost cycle. Don't know if this needs to be on or off to do it, so I went ahead try. and turned it off as I didn't want the blade fan blade to okay. get damaged. And I'm gonna try going into the defrost cycle here. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Go ahead and turn this back on just so that it's on when I need it to be after it defrosts. One, two, three, four, five. Definitely heard it click. I believe we're in the defrost cycle now, but I'm going to go ahead and turn this off just so the fan's not running. And we'll just kind of listen for the defrost cycle. You can definitely see the ice on the coil. The other way would be just to take that apart and then take it off and melt the little bit of ice that's probably rubbing on the fan. But I should be able to run it through the defrost cycle a few times and melt it out that way. Okay, good. It's in the defrost cycle, just gotta make sure I remember to turn it back on so you can see all that's back there. Oh, that's what's hitting.
All right, it's been about a half hour now. And uh, you can see it started to melt. We got water. Still got, still got ice on it, but let's see if I can turn the peel back on and uh, start press and hold and see if it gets the fan off. Even if it still rubbing. A lot better though. Well, that's that's reasonable enough. Now I'm gonna kick it back into the defrost cycle again. Just go a second round, but I didn't want to leave it off because it's getting it's getting pretty late here. And uh, I don't want to take a chance of all the food you know going without. I'm gonna lower my temperature down to the lowest setting both the fridge and the freezer. But I'm gonna kick it back again by going five times. One, two, three, four, five, then six seconds to kick it into the defrost cycle. That seems we're cleared up now. The ice is actually cleared away from the fan. Perfect, but better than it was. So, not sure I really kicked it in there. But I believe we're okay at this point. It's not running, not so loud. Gonna survive. All right. Still kind of rubbing, but I put it into the defrost cycle. And then, let's see, I may need to turn off the fan again. Off cycle. There it is. All right. So one more round on the defrost cycle.
There was the click. This was one long night to get everything going. morning. Working good. No more hitting. Done deal. If I can use the coffee today, I think it's Friday. Definitely had some crazy stuff happen in the past few days and going to be trying to share some of those videos with you, starting with the one I shared. The other day which was about how my best tips on unclogging air conditioner condensate lines and the preventative maintenance you can do to prevent things. But in that video, I shared my five plus best tips about, con you know, dealing with condensate drain clogs with from air conditioning and heading those things off. Hope you like this video, trying to share some of my best tips. Now these are steps that you can take to head things off. You know, preventative maintenance always puts the maintenance on your schedule and, and uh, by clearing these lines ahead of time, right ahead of the, the cooling season, uh, can help prevent a lot of these things from happening. Obviously you can't prevent everything, but if you head off the majority of it, it's going to save you a lot of time and effort later on and a lot of energy later on. That way you're not getting called off of everything else. You know, if you can do it ahead of time, preventative maintenance puts things on your schedule. Anyway, that's what Kung Fu Maintenance is all about, making life easier for you and sparing you as many headaches as possible. Thanks for watching, and I hope you subscribe. I hope you like the video. These past few days have been some crazy days. Hey, and I hope to be bringing you more videos uh, that happen these days. I had a compressor burnout. Cool. And then I had a unit that needed the disconnect kind of changed green. out. So hopefully going to be showing you those videos and a little bit more how-to. Or a lot more how-to. And just sharing the experiences with you in the days to come. Thanks for watching. Tried everything. Below, you'll find links to the tools and some of the parts and tools and, and items used in the videos to help keep things running good and maintain things how they should be.
It looks like it's internal. Welcome to this world, I can feel the pressure, but...